Lithium ion batteries are a type of rechargeable batteries that are important in mobile systems. Lithium ion batteries are one of the most commonly used batteries in the automotive industry. You could find these batteries in mobile phones, MP3 players, laptops and other electronic devices. They are stacked together to form high voltage batteries in electric vehicle nowadays. In this video we will discuss about lithium ion batteries. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe to this channel for more interesting videos about electric vehicles. First of all, let's see what is battery and cell. A cell is a basic electrochemical unit that contains electrode, separator and electrolytes. Single cell is not capable of supplying a large amount of electric energy to the appliances. So they are connected to form a battery pack. A battery or battery pack is a collection of cells or cell assemblies with housing, electrical connections and possibly electronics for control and protection. The main components of a cell are anode, cathode, electrolyte and organic separator. Anode is the negative electrode and cathode is positive electrode. Don't be confused with the terms anode and cathode. In chemistry, a cation is a positively charged ion that is one that would be attracted to the cathode in electrolysis. And anion is a negatively charged ion that is one that would be attracted to the anode in electrolysis. In a lithium ion battery, Anode is lithium intercalated graphite and cathode is lithium intercalated lithium cobalt oxide. Intercalation is a reversible inclusion of molecules into the material with a layered structure. It further expands the van der Waals gap in graphite and results in a weak bonding. The third component electrolyte, a mixture of LiPF6 and alkyl carbonate, a mixture of ethylene carbonate and dimethyl carbonate, also known as ESDMC. The fourth one is an organic separator. It is a semi-permeable polymeric microporous membrane that allows certain molecules or ions to pass through it by diffusion. You can have a look at the schematic diagram of lithium ion battery. The discharging of lithium ion battery is a spontaneous process. That means no external energy is required to trigger or happens the reaction. When an external load is connected, the current flows from cathode to anode and electrons flows from anode to cathode. Conventionally, the direction of current is opposite to the direction of electrons. At anode, LiC6 splits into C6 and lithium plus ion, releasing one electron. The lithium plus ions cross the semi-permeable membrane and electrons travels from the anode to cathode through the external load connected. At cathode, COO2, lithium ion and the electron combine to form lithium cobalt oxide. These are the half reactions of lithium ion battery during discharging. Now what happens during the charging of lithium ion battery? The charging of lithium ion battery is a non-spontaneous process. An external energy supply is required to charge the lithium ion battery. When we connect the charging equipment to the battery, the battery starts charging. The voltage of the external power supply equipment must be higher than the cell voltage to get it charged. The reactions that happen during charging will be exactly the opposite of the reactions that happen during discharging. At cathode, LiCO2 splits into COO2, lithium ions and electrons. And at anode, C6, lithium ion and electrons combines together to form LiC6. Here the current flows into the battery. That means the electrons flow from cathode to anode through the external power supply. The overall reaction is a reversible reaction as shown. It happens from left to right during discharging and right to left during charging. If you have any doubts, feel free to ask in comments so that I can answer them. Now let's see the advantages of lithium ion batteries. Lithium ion batteries have high specific energy and energy density. The size of the lithium ion battery would be less compared to other battery technologies to store the same amount of energy. The energy density of lithium ion battery varies from 250 to 650 watt hour per liter and the specific energy varies from 100 to 250 watt hour per kilogram. So lithium ion batteries are lighter and smaller. The nominal voltage of lithium ion cell is higher than that of lead acid, nickel metal hydride and nickel cadmium batteries. It is around 3.6 to 3.85 volt. Lithium ion batteries will not self discharge much. A lithium ion battery pack loses only about 5% of its charge per month compared to a 20% loss per month for nickel metal hydride batteries. Another important advantage of lithium ion battery is the absence of memory effect. That means that you do not have to completely discharge them before recharging as with some other battery chemistries. 
nickel cadmium batteries have the memory effect that results in issues in charging and discharging lithium ion batteries can handle a few thousands of charge discharge cycles they last long lithium ion batteries have the following disadvantages they are extremely sensitive to high temperatures heat causes lithium ion battery packs to degrade much faster than they normally would as a result of the high temperature sensitivity of lithium ion batteries thermal management is highly important in an electric vehicle that uses lithium ion batteries a battery management system must be used to manage the lithium ion battery it makes them even more expensive there is a little chance of thermal runaway in lithium ion batteries thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video please tap the like button don't forget to subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon to get notified when i publish another interesting video about electric vehicle